Lviv Oblast. NAFCO has financed two renewable energy projects in the region, a wind power station in Stary Sambia and a solar station in Ternovica. Stary Sambia is a small town at the foothills of the Carpathians. The first Eco-Optima wind power station was built here in 2015. Компанія Коптима була створена у 2009 році зразу після, після підні, прийняття закону України про зелену енергетику. Першим нашим проектом це була вітростанція в Старому Самбурі. Це перший проект Коптіми це було чотири вітрогенератори компанії Веста, з якими ми реалізували спільно з Європейським банком реконструкції розвитку. In 2017 the second Eco Optima wind power station Carpathian Wind was commissioned in Stary Sambia. It is located on the mountain near the town. The wind strength was studied for a year to select the best location for it. As a result, a place was identified where the average wind velocity is 6.7 meters per second. The construction works lasted nine months. One of the most important questions was, of course, the delivery. Даних турбін, розумієте, довжина секції одної із частин опори є 25, 30, 40 метрів. Це в наших дорогах це було досить складно перевозити, не говорячи вже про лопоті, довжина яких складає 56 метрів. Це була одна частина, а друга частина з таких можливо, таких технічно тяжких завдань. Це була а, приїзд а, крана. Сама висота крана – це була 146 метрів. А самі монтажні роботи, а, як не дивно, займають досить мало часу. A total of six wind turbines were installed in one and a half month. The total capacity is 20.7 megawatts. The main technical equipment is placed in a nacelle located at a height of 90 meters. The reducer, generator, inverter, transformer and the majority of the electronic and subsidiary equipment are all placed here. Energy production will total 50 to 60 million kilowatt hours of electricity annually. This is sufficient to meet the demand of Stary Sambe region with a population of 70,000 people. The implementation of such a large-scale project has been possible thanks to the support of the partners, being NAFCO, the Danish Climate Investment Fund and the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development. The project's budget totaled 34 million euros. The quantity of such projects, at the moment, if you take the wind in our part, 7-8 years. We have rotation 10 years, one from one is probably rotation on the distance. 400-500 метрів в один день різниця виробітку може стати 10%. Настільки непередбачені вітряні потоки, особливо в Карпатському регіоні. The electricity generated by the wind turbines is transported to a substation owned by the company Ukr Railways. And from there it is distributed through the national electricity grid. Another Eco-Optima project supported by NEFCO is the Yavariv solar station, which has been installed in Tanovica village. The village is situated 30 kilometers from the Polish border. After the construction is completed, the capacity of the station will be 72 megawatts. The solar plant will be built in two stages. The first stage consists of a 36 megawatt solar plant, and during the second stage, a capacity of 36 megawatt will be constructed. The total area of the solar plant is 115 hectares. The first stage is completed and started to produce green energy in November 2018. Тут колись промислово добували відкритим способом сірку, і ми зараз безпосередньо знаходимося на відвалі руди, землі і глини, яка не є придатною на сьогоднішній день для сільськогосподарського ведення господарства. Тут досить розвинена інфраструктура, і є підстанція «Укренерго» з вхідної напруги 330 кВт, досить потужним трансформатором, і є можливість, куди видати генеровану потужність. The first phase of the solar station consists of more than 500 kilometers of cabling and 130,000 specially designed photovoltaic panels. They are protected by glass on both sides as the soil below contains a lot of aggressive chemical elements. The costs of stage one and two totaled 65 million euros. The project has been financed by Eco Optima, NEFCO, the Danish Investment Fund for Developing Countries and the EBRD. After putting the solar station into operation, energy generation will reach 73 to 80 million kilowatt hours annually. This will be sufficient to meet the demand of Ternovica region with a population of more than 120,000 people. 
NEFCO would like to do many more investments into renewable energy, wind projects. They have an enormous positive environmental impact. They also have environmental risks. Uh, you have move, moving parts, flickering, shadows, noise, you have birds migration and so on. And we cannot make a trade-off between a good environmental project and bad social impact. We will have more investments in, in wind. Uh, it's still unclear how large and how many we will have. On the solar, they are uh, easier projects. They are technically more reliable. They are easier to implement. They are faster to implement. The investments can be relatively small, everything from 1 million euro and, and up. And I would imagine that uh, within solar that we would see quite a large number of solar uh, installations in Ukraine. The implementation of the Karpatan Wind and Yavariv Solar Station project will provide green energy to the residents of the Lviv region. As the wind and solar stations replace the current usage of coal and gas, they will together result in carbon dioxide emission reductions of more than 100,000 tons per year.